earlier in the show, you saw him asking some questions to Chris Hadfield. Now it's our turn to ask him a few questions. Brother Guy Consolmano has recently written, Would You Baptize an Extraterrestrial? And he is the official astronomer to the Pope. He currently joins us from New York. Brother Guy, in many places, we seem to have lost the ability to allow science and religion to dialogue with each other. What's lost when we keep religion and science isolated in airtight containers? Well, you, you lose the idea of why we're doing what we're doing. I mean, let's make it clear. I cannot use religion to solve my scientific problems. I cannot use science to prove or disprove some religious tenet. That's not the way they work. But one can inform the other about why we're doing and what we're doing. As a scientist, I have an unlimited number of projects I could work on. Why do I choose to do this one and not that one? As a religious person, I have an unlimited number of ways that I can encounter the universe. Why not use reason and the gifts that God has given me of, of the ability to observe and the ability to make sense of what I see as a way of coming closer to God's creation. Do you think what we know about human evolution requires changing what we think about original sin and the fall that's in Christian theology? Well, there's a lot that we don't understand about original sin. Anyone who doubts original sin exists, all you have to do is read the daily newspaper. You've got evidence of it before you. But how that works theologically, I think that would be a challenge for theologians, whether or not we had evolution, whether or not we had you know, intelligent creatures elsewhere, because it is a great mystery. It's the great mystery of why is there evil in the world? We don't know the answer, but we do know without free will, without the chance to do evil, then the good we do would be meaningless. How do you reconcile the Big Bang with the account in the book of Genesis in the Bible of how God created the world? Remember, Genesis is not a book about science. They didn't even have science books then. Genesis is a book about God. Chapter 1 takes the best science of their day 3,000 years ago, where everybody thought the world was flat and there was a dome and water above and below, and it says, this world that all the scientists of Babylon have told us about this world was made by God, it was made deliberately, and God was there even before the world. Chapter 2, a completely different creation story because it was written at a different time with different scientists, the best science of that day. But the same message, God was there, God was acting out of love, God was working in a deliberate way, and God, though he's involved in the universe, is not a creature inside the universe. These truths are what I believe, and these are what's really important. Okay, so nowadays we've got the Big Bang Theory, which incidentally was devised by a Catholic priest who also had a degree from MIT. And that's the best way we have to explain how the universe developed now. But it's still the same God doing it. My faith tells me God made the universe. My science tells me how he did it. You live in the world of science, explaining how the world works. Many watching us don't believe in God like you do. And they might ask, why do you need to add God to that world? Even the scientists who think they don't believe in God believe in some sort of God. If truth is more important than anything else, I believe in the God of truth. I won't fake my data to get my picture on TV. You need God if you're going to believe that the universe is real and that it can be studied. It's my faith in the God I believe in, the Christian God, very different from the pagan gods. I believe in a God who allows the universe to develop, who doesn't act like the God of lightning or the God of thunder, but says, no, there are regular laws that you can understand. And I need a belief in God who says, this universe is so good that it's worth me spending my time trying to figure out how it works because understanding how God created helps me become more intimate with God and becomes an act of worship. Brother Guy Consolmano joined us from New York. He's an astronomer in Vatican City and author of Would You Baptize an Extraterrestrial?